working backwards is for sure the top three most important uh, strategy to use for the SAT math. So let me start off by giving you an example to illustrate this concept a little better. Let's say if a question is asking me, John and Sally share a deck of 52 cards, Sally receives six more cards than John, and then the actual question is saying, how many cards does John receive? Take a, look, a closer look at the question. The question is, how many cards does John receive? That answer has to be either 20, 23, 25, 29, or 32. Has to be one of those five. So questions like this, really, we, we, can use, we can use the answers to advantage over here. Let's start off by assuming that C25 is my answer. So if you're saying at this point that 25 is the number of cards that John receives. So if John receives 25, you know that Sally receives six more cards. That means that Sally must have 31 cards. We also know that the deck of cards has 52 cards. So it's 31 plus 25, 52. Let's test it out. 5 plus 1 is 6, 3 plus 2 is 5, 56. 56 is too high, so that means C cannot be my answer. Because 56 is too high and we're looking for a number that's lower, I can also cross out 29 and 32, because those, those are going to give me higher numbers than 56. Now let's start off, let's start, let's just start off by making an assumption that 23 is my answer. So if 23 is my answer, then that's how many cards John has. Then Sally receives six more cards, so that means that Sally must have 29. Now it's 29 plus 23, 52. 9 plus 3 is 12. Uh, 2 plus 2 is 4, 52. Checks out. That's my answer. I don't have to do anything else. B is my answer. Let me use another example to try to illustrate this even more. So the question is x minus 2. The, the quantity of x minus 2 squared is equal to 16. What is the value of x? Answer has to be one of these five answer choices. Let's start off by making an assumption that negative 3 is my answer. So if negative 3 is my value of x, it would be negative 3 minus 2 squared, which is negative 5 squared, which is 25. That doesn't work, and it's too high. That means I can cross out C, I can cross out D, and I can cross out E. At this point, let's make an assumption that negative 2 is my answer now. So if it's negative 2 minus 2 squared equals negative 4 squared, which is 16. And that works out. My answer is B. Oops, that came out of, that was a horrible circle, but <laughs> the answer would be B. Uh, working backwards makes some of the hard problems extremely easy. If you look, look, use the answer choices to your advantage. This is not a strategy that you can use for the grid end questions, but definitely a big, big strategy for the multiple choice questions.